I'm Greg Jarbo with the SES Conference Expo channel. I'm here with uh, Peter Morville, uh, the author of Search Patterns and the keynote, the kick-ass keynote speaker this morning. That's right, yeah, I really like that title and uh, happy to be here. So let's talk about Search Patterns uh, first. There's, there were a lot that you introduced and some with very new names. Um, yeah, so we, we worked really hard to, to come up with a, a number of patterns of behavior as well as design patterns to really kind of help people understand uh, how do people search? What sorts of habits and behaviors have they picked up? And, and how can we really help solve problems and make it easier uh, for them to find what they're looking for? So, so let's let's tackle uh, one of the um, concepts that you had, which was what? The federated search? Yeah, so I, I sort of talk about federated search as both sometimes a good solution, but often a symptom of deeper problems. Uh, federated search helps people to search across multiple databases and collections and even websites uh, when they don't know exactly where to look for their answer. Um, but at the same time, a lot of federated search solutions are kind of slow and clunky and uh, they, they very often identify an opportunity to look at how can we better integrate these sources of information uh, so that people can have uh, you know, a more seamless experience. And, and I think you analyzed uh, Google's efforts in this area as a sort of still sort of rudimentary. Well, you know, Google uh, is, is in some senses the ultimate federated search in the sense that they're searching across the entire web, but bringing it all into a kind of a more integrated database. Um, what, what I was trying to highlight with Google is that they're actually moving further into uh, a kind of a faceted navigation model where they're, you know, if you see what the activity on the left hand side of the Google interface in the recent months, they're really having to, to work hard to provide people with next steps. How can I refine or clarify my query, whether it's to say I'm looking for just stuff published in the last 24 hours or I'm only looking for images or uh, media of certain types. So. The very simple Google interface isn't really kind of cutting it anymore, and they're having to, uh, you know, kind of basically design a more conversational search experience. So, do you think uh, there's progress to be made here? Yeah, I think that they're actually heading in the right direction now. Um, uh, you know, for a long time there was a big divide between the kinds of interfaces we saw in e-commerce and versus the web. And now I think this is, a, this is a, a rare case where we're starting to take some lessons from e-commerce and apply them to the web. Usually it goes the other direction. And I have to ask you, you, you introduced a new term I'd never heard before, intertwingularity? Yeah. So um, Ted Nelson, uh, sort of the inventor of hypertext, uh, uh, way back when uh, argued that uh, everything is deeply intertwingled, the notion that we like to think in terms of clean categories, uh, but that in, 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 in truth, uh, human interest can create links between you know, any topic and any other topic. Uh, and so intertwingled was the word that he coined, and it's, it's a word I, I kind of enjoy using. Well, there you are, some new words and some new concepts from Peter Morville, today's keynote speaker, today's key kick-ass keynote speaker at Search Engine Strategies Toronto 2010. I'm Greg Gerbel, and this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm.